Hello everyone, it's James in Japan. I'm on a cruise at the moment and I got this Japanese Customs Declaration card. I'm going to show you how to fill it out if you're coming to Japan. There are two words that you should know. One is embarkation and the other one is disembarkation. Embarkation means the act of boarding a plane or ship. So that is when you first get on a ship or an airplane. And disembarkation is the act of leaving the airplane or ship. So you're getting off the ship or airplane. All right. So when you come to Japan, you will either get an English customs declaration card or a Japanese one. Okay, here you would write the flight number, name of vessel. So in my case, it's the Diamond Princess cruise ship. So I would write Diamond Princess here. If you're flying with Japan Airlines, you would write JAL and some number or the name of the vessel. Let's say it's Japan Airlines. So JAL, whatever number it is. Um, one, two, three, for example. Point of embarkation. That is where did you board? So I'm in Japan, but if I'm in Toronto and I'm getting on the plane to Japan, directly to Japan, I would write Toronto here. If you're taking a boat from, let's say, South Korea, you would write South Korea here. So. For an example, I would write Toronto, if it's a direct flight. Okay? Point of embarkation is where you get on. The original place where you're boarding the airplane or ship. Next, date of arrival in Japan. Today is August 4th, 2024. If you know that you are going to arrive in Japan on August 4th, you would write year, month, and date. So if you're flying from North America, you're one day behind. So you can write one day ahead according to your itinerary. In my case, I'm already in Japan and I'm on a cruise and it is August 4th. So I would write 2000. 24. The month is August 08 and the date is the 4th, so 04. Okay, name, last name, or surname. Here you will write your last name or surname, and here you will write your first name and middle name according to your passport. Address in Japan, accommodation. So if you're just visiting Japan and you know the name of the, your hotel, write the name of the hotel here. So let's say it's Hotel Nikko, just for example. And it, Tokyo, for example. If you know the full address, write it. If you don't, just write this, the name of the hotel and approximately where the telephone number of the business. Now, if you're staying with your friend, if you know your friends, you can you can write your friend's address here and their telephone number here. If you know the hotel's telephone number, you would write it here. So for Tokyo, the area code is usually 03. And then whatever numbers, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, zero. This is for example, your nationality. You would write it here, American, Canadian. So in my case, you can write Canada or Canadian. I'll just write Canada. Occupation, are you um, an accountant, nurse, whatever. So let's say, Investor. Okay, for example, and the date of birth, you write the year, 19 whatever, 
month, and the day. All right, I'll leave that out. Your passport number in your passport. It must be a valid passport. So write the number here. It's on the front page. Number of family members traveling with you. Over 20 years old. If you are traveling alone, don't worry about this. If you're traveling with your wife, over 20 years old, definitely here. If you're traveling with someone who is between 16 and 19 years old, indicate how many are traveling. And if you're traveling with anyone under six years old, indicate how many. Then you must answer this section. Are you bringing the following items into Japan? I'm going to give you the quick answer. You better answer no to all of these. If you answer yes, you will be scrutinized. Number one, narcotic drugs. If you answer yes, say goodbye to Japan, all right? Meat products, vegetables, those are a big no, big no-no, okay? Gold bullion or products of gold, be careful, okay? Um, goods, purchase, souvenirs, gifts, um, exceeding duty-free, commercial goods, any items you have requested from someone else to bring into Japan. Pay attention to this. If your answer to any of the following questions above is yes, please list your belongings in description of accompanied articles on side B. That's on the other side. You will be scrutinized. So if you're visiting Japan, use common sense. Tick all these no. Okay, number two, cash checks including TC, promissory notes, securities, and securities which exceed the amount of 1 million yen or its equivalent or precious metals, etc., exceeding one kilogram, yes or no? Use your common sense, tick no. Number three, do you have unaccompanied articles? Yes or no? I would answer no unless you're planning to live in Japan and you actually sent things by ship or plane, uh, be honest, tick yes, if you did so. But if you're just visiting here for a short time, no is the best answer. Okay, and don't forget to sign here. Looking at side B. Okay, so this is side B. Description of a company articles. You would have to list whatever you're bringing, tobacco, alcoholic beverages and cigars, etc. There will be duty if you exceed the amount. So be smart. Don't bring those things in. Don't bring any alcohol, meats, cigarettes into Japan. Just don't do it. Okay, here it says prohibited articles. Two, restricted articles. Three, duty-free allowance. You must fill this Japanese customs declaration if you have a direct flight to Japan. This is how to fill out the Japanese Customs Declaration card. Remember the two important words, embarkation and disembarkation. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel.